Hey, what's going on guys? This is Abu006 and today I'm showing you a demo of my engine that I made uh, a few months ago. Um, this is, um, I didn't enable shadows in this engine. I only have uh, directional lights and ambient lighting. Um, I will I will make the uh, lighting a little bit uh, brighter so you can see more. But um, this is basically a demo of what the engine can currently do. Um, it, I do have an editor, as you can see I'm showing the editor, that's mostly what I care about this time because I made an editor in a few days and I feel like it does need a lot of work but it is pretty cool, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, you use your keyboard, your mouse and um, some settings to rotate, scale and position objects and you can also save and load the level after you're done. So you can actually save the level and then you don't ha have to care about um, design and the level. You just load objects and you position them, you do what you want, you create the level, and then after that, you can use either scripts. I, I do have a scripting language that I implemented. Um, it's a custom scripting language, um, uh, which I'm pretty happy about. Like, um, It's the first version of it, you can say. like. I don't know, version 1.0. <laughs> but um, basically, yeah, you can use a scripting language or you can use Java to um, start the, the game mechanics, you, you know, like program the game mechanics. Using either the scripts or the Java programming language, you can just use it, you can do it from the engine itself. So, yeah, um, I'm going to scale this um, cube and show you guys what you can like I'm gonna show you a demo of the saving and loading. Basically, um, just gonna position this, make a plane out of it, and then save it, and then load it to show you guys how it works. Um, yeah. So, like I was saying, um, these this is like um, still a work in progress. The editor, um, the engine does allow you to add custom shaders and uh, a lot of cool things. Um, it does have its own shaders. It comes like with a basic set of shaders, and um, they're pretty cool. Um, but I didn't implement any um, post-processing effects, like um, bloom or anything. Uh, you can actually do that, but um, I'm probably gonna do that myself. I don't know, but I'm currently worried about the editor. Like, not worried, but I'm mostly focused on the editor because I want to make a cool editor, something easier to use. It's currently, it's currently okay for use, but it's not, it's not too hard, but it's also not too easy. But other than that, like, if you, if you can get used to it, you can just save, load, and create a game with that very easily. Um, it does have some basic uh, physics. Um, it does have some basic uh, grass, um, not rotation, I don't, I don't know what it's called, like grass animation. Um, you can actually do more, like it depends on what you want to do. This is this was just a demo and I want to show you. And as you can see, I saved it. You can see the, if you looked at the log, you can see the, the loading thing goes, um, it tells you how much percent it saved. So if it... If it so it's better for debugging, you know, like if you have a problem with something, it'll stop at a number and you'll know why it'll be easier to debug. And uh, once you load um, everything, um, you click load and now it positions everything, it even positions the camera um, at the correct position where it was last put at. But um, if you don't click load, you can actually redo everything and then click save. So yeah, that's the basics of the engine. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. The FPS is pretty good. Um, it's I capped it at 60, but it goes down with um, Camtasia because that's what I'm using to record right now. And um, yeah, I'm sorry about that anyway. So yeah, I'm probably going to make more demos uh, sooner to show you some of the scripting and uh, other stuff. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.